What is up guys? Long time no see. the microphone inputs here welcome to the vlog guys uh, so it's been a week it's been a week and there's lots of interesting stuff that happened one I repasted my MacBook Pro right now uh, because I was getting 99 degrees on boot up and I know that I use my 100 CPU at 100% when you boot it up but I want to kind of throttle it down a little bit so I ended up uh, repasting it with some cryonaut thermal grizzly so here's the beginning of that all right, folks. Sorry about the wind noise. But there's wind noise, but um, I took out my MacBook Pro 15-inch Retina, um, and I'm repasting this because if you look here at the old paste, it is uh, it's pretty much just dried up, and it's it's ready for a thermal paste um, reapplication. This one actually right here, my GPU is actually okay, but on my CPU end, it is it is all dry. So what I noticed was uh, this computer was hitting, uh, I believe this is the GPU, I don't know when I cleaned it off, but uh, I noticed my, my CPU was hitting 99 degrees when I was booting up, and so um, that should not actually happen. So this one is way too dry, so then what we're going to do is we're going to add some um, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. I was going to go with uh, Liquid Metal, but I'd rather just go with Cryonaut and not worry about treating my... CPU and GPU, and this I've had great results with the 7700K with this. So, uh, this is exactly what I wanted to repaste this to redo all this. I saw I was right, that was a NVIDIA card. Um, I'm not sure if it'll focus in here, but it says NVIDIA right on there. Like, yeah, there we go. NVIDIA. This is the GT750M, which is uh, not the most powerful card, but it sure as hell is better than the integrated graphics. Now these things are really shiny. I guess all you're gonna need, if anything that's just too much, but yeah, that is way too much. So I'm going to paste it, or I'm going to go ahead and put it back on now. Alright folks, I am done. Um, so I actually ended up taking this out again because I thought I put too much thermal paste. It turns out I actually put too little. Um, I know this because when I popped it off, it wasn't spreading all around. So I ended up popping it off. This one I kept the same, but this one I put a little bit more paste down the middle so I could spread out. Enter up now. I should be getting less than 99 degrees on boot up. Let me go ahead and button all this up, turn her on, and see what temps I'm getting. All right, so this is the first boot up. Um, don't mind me, my dreaming. So usually, what uh, numbers I get up here is 99 to 100 degrees um, on boot this particular computer so once it shows up here which okay that scared the it did it again um, so something is seriously wrong with this computer I was working fine I'm getting 91 degrees on boot which is Oh, fine, maybe my GPU is overheating. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and see what went wrong. Now, now at this moment, um, the, uh, the the computer stopped working. It booted up, but I didn't get into the screen. It's just a black screen. Keyboard was still lit up. I was pretty worried. So uh, after turning it on and off a few dozen times, it started working again. And then after I ran a few benchmarks, uh, the heat I guess kind of pressed the heat sink together or somewhat or some sort, but it started working again. Thank the Lord. That is weird. Um, so what happened was my Pentalobe screwdriver kind of stripped out. 
So I need to get another pentalobe screwdriver, which actually sucks. Um, but yeah, the end tip of this kind of really got messed up. It's not passing 99 degrees, um, which it did help. So this is the highest um, Cinnabon score that I got actually. Which is pretty cool. That just gave me a pretty big scare, but everything seems to be working. So I'm getting slightly slower score than before. This was my score before. This is my score now. Again, this is not a big deal. Run it again. So I guess my CPU temps are a bit better. Oh, okay. So yeah, that is within the margin of error. Not bad. Anyway, so idling at 40s, um, I guess it's not too bad. So uh, I don't know exactly what went wrong, but it works now. My temps at idle did get a little bit cooler. It got about 10 degrees cooler. Um, at load, it's the same thing. Because uh, I didn't check at load if it was throttling or not. I do get above 2.3 gigahertz, so I am turbo boosting throughout the end. It's, it does okay. It does throttle a bit still. I mean, the performance, I don't really see a big boost in it. But, but that is that. So, uh, next, next, I got a few things in the mail. Um, and I'm going to open this first because I'm less worried about what this is. This, this, this is the, uh, it's from Dell, but I'm sure it'll work. It's the display port to DVI port. So now my gaming PC can have dual monitor action going there. Go and test that out later. Pop this off and this all the way. That's not that wasn't the important one. This is probably the most important. Um, this is an eight terabyte Barracuda hard drive, uh, and I was really disappointed when I got this in the mail because all it is it's in the envelope, guys. A hard drive I could feel, and it's just in an envelope. So I mean, there's no protection, and a hard drive. Is, is, is pretty, it's pretty, um, it's pretty, I'm gonna cover the seller or not that, and then it's a CPU right there. Um, yeah, but I got this in the mail, I was a little bit disappointed in how they packaged it. It's just a bubble wrapped envelope with the hard drive plopped in there, and I know USPS throws their mails around. I was hoping it would be a little bit more protected, like in a box with some bubble wrap, but let's see if this works. This is something that I've been waiting for. Open her up. And uh, at least it's in a static proof case, but literally it is just that a ziplock static proof case again it's just the bubbly envelope here and the hard drive itself um, I have high hopes for this a terabyte and this is gonna go into my gaming computer because my gaming computer hard drive only has a 512 gigabyte hard drive in there and I've been running out of space quite honestly um, so that that I'm glad I have a terabyte that'll last me I, was, I could have pulled out one of my 8 terabytes from my Mac Pro, but that's my Mac Pro. Yeah. And last but not least, I have this really light package, and this is more for my daily productivity. It is an Apple pencil holder for my case. Basically, it has an elastic band on there, so it's like a universal holder. It's crazy honking going on outside. Um, and. This, now I don't have to put my Apple Pencil away in my pocket when I'm carrying it around or when I go into meetings. Uh, what it has is a little elastic band, and you put this over the case that it's in. And then this is the Apple Pencil holder, which you just... Um, there we go. Nice and sticky. Um, yeah, okay, so you guys, you guys know the gist of it. Put this back in something, but yeah. So that's it. Uh, Exactly what I was worried about. <clears throat> um, it doesn't. It doesn't spin. It doesn't spin up. 
Um, I've tested all my hard drives this way. Um, with power in and just it's, it's not showing up. So this is a defective drive. And like I said, I mean, I don't know if it worked before shipping, but when you put it in this, put it in an envelope and ship it off, if it wasn't broken while already, it would be broken after shipping. Uh, I knew this, this would happen. Hi. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding. Pudding. This drive is working. It's spinning up the moment I plug it in. Uh, this drive doesn't even spin up at all. It's so disappointing. It's April 2018. It looked like a perfectly fine drive, but another update. No, you know what? That's it for the update, guys. That's it. You know what? I'm not gonna add the the, the live octopus proceedings. That's gonna be the next video. That's gonna probably come up right after this, um, guys. Anyways. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, great night, great whenever you're watching this. And remember, live well, laugh more.